kind of the um, next level in, of minimally invasiveness, it would be um, what I call a, a Baxano procedure, where uh, Baxano is a corporation that makes a specific device for freeing up people's nerves uh, that are really tight from either a disc herniation or from arthritis or from overgrowth of tissue or, facet, or uh, facet cysts. I'm able to go in through those same tubes and um, using a little uh, device that I can pass percutaneously through the skin around those facet joints, I'm able to get a much better decompression than what I can do openly using just little biters that we typically use. And this device um, is, is a um, what we call percutaneous, which means it's passed through the small tube and out through the skin, but it's almost like just a tiny little cheese grater that I'm able to do just kind of a little bit of a, um, a back and forth motion with it and be able to take a totally tight frame and, and give it a couple more millimeters of room for the nerve root, which can do tremendous as far as people's functional ability goes. Um, uh, and, and that's another procedure that can be done through these tubes where traditionally I'm doing a much bigger procedure with it and with that procedure as well I'm allowed uh, I'm able to pass it through from one side to the other and do a similar uh, thing as I could do open. Uh, less, even less invasive from the tubes would be the, uh, an endoscopic procedure doing it through a scope. Framinotomies to free up nerves can be done through the scope using little burrs or little um, trephines. So I'm able to actually give patients uh, with uh, tightness around their nerves more room and I'm also able through multiple approaches through the scope address uh, disc herniations and um, central uh, tightness or, or stenotic central changes within the spine. Uh, and that's kind of a progression t uh, through a, m a little bit more minimally invasive to much less minimally invasive. A up to uh, regular open surgeries, there's some procedures that we can't do through a um, little tube or a little scope. And uh, if we aren't able to do that, we, I can always fall back on our traditional approaches to doing more um, complex open surgeries. Uh, the nice thing is, is that using these tubes, uh, we not only can just do uh, decompressions and discectomies, we also can stabilize the spine using percutaneous screws, percutaneous rods, and also uh, percutaneous placement of, of uh, fusion devices that we put in the disc space to help people fuse. So when you start getting to the larger scoliosis procedures, there can be minimally invasive uh, procedures done uh, for that as well, but it's, it's still a little bit more uh, invasive than uh, just using tubes. But we, we've got pretty much minimally invasively a uh, large spectrum of treatments that we can do.